Welcome to Trey and C. It's bargain basement bourbon blowout bracketeering bottom shelf bourbon blowout. Sure. We don't, Whatever. We don't know what this is called, but what we're doing is we're taking eight low end bourbons. Quite low end, though. Actually. Super low end bourbons. Yeah. We're pairing them off against each other. We're going to have one winner each round. Yeah, and then we're knock gonna, them out. And then we're going to pair the existing winners against each other until we're left with just one. So we're bringing out two bourbons at a time. They're squaring off. One is a winner. One gets thrown in the garbage. Slash Not garbage. Slash we're just putting it away to drink later. Today we have Four Roses, oh. the regular, original. just regular original, and then the old granddad Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And to keep it super scientific, we're going to have a mouthful of water between each one. Yes. So this one is 40% alcohol. This one is 40% alcohol. So, yeah. Good. Okay. Let's do it. Pour one first. Let's go with the old granddad first. Just a little, just a little bit. Just a wee dram of each. We're gonna be drinking eight of these, but we get two shots. So we're gonna make eight, then twelve, yeah. then fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Old granddad. Mmm. Quite spicy and nice actually. Mmm, it's good. Bit of a cherryishness to it. Mm. Water. We're totally contaminating the glass here. <coughs> but we figure. We, we are care. putting water in our mouths, and we're going to do whatever the F we want with our whiskey. Yeah. Tell us how wrong we are. We don't care. Okay. Ooh, this smells quite, quite nice, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Enough of the coughing. Hmm. Hmm. I like, old, I like the old granddad. I think I like it better, too. Okay. Which is funny because the Four Roses products, once it goes higher and higher, <coughs> it is some supremely delicious stuff. Four Roses is great whiskey, but we don't need to validate it. No. Old Granddad, you're the winner of you're round one. Forward. You'll move forward into the elimination yeah, round. The round. These guys, the okay. winners on my side. Oh, you want me to keep the shit on my side? Exactly. Eh? We've got Ezra Brooks, bottled at 40%, and... The classic Jack Daniels, also forty percent alcohol. Rinse your glass real quick. I'll tell you the reason that we, <clears throat> the reason that we paired off Jack Daniels versus Ezra Brooks is because in the nineteen fifties, Ezra Brooks was a knockoff version of uh, Jack Daniels. They had all the same oh, kind of in my water. Perfect. They had all the same kind of gimmicky shit going on on Ezra Brooks that they had on Jack Daniels. They were copying them because there was apparently a Jack Daniels shortage. So they um, marketed it exactly the same way. Anyway, Ezra Brooks is still in existence today, so congratulations, Ezra Brooks. But we're about to find out whether you're legit or not. Yeah, it even has the uh, the. Oh no, I thought it had the old number. Oh no, seven. it does. Look, oh yeah, on the side it just says seven right there. It says it's number seven. Number seven. Like number seven, what? <laughs> okay, so this is Jack the Daniels. Jack Daniels. Here we go. It says seven generations, which is in fact bullshit. Bananas and glue, I love it. Mm. And like new oak. Yeah, very much so. Delicious. Mm. Okay. So, um, you know, you guys in the comment section, you can tell us what you think about all these whiskeys and who should have won and yeah. whatever. And then we'll just argue with you. It's gonna be yeah. great. Looking forward to it. We'll just tell you how we're right and you're wrong. So enjoy. Mm, okay. Mm. I'm already gonna say I think I like Jack Daniels better. You know what? I agree, but Ezra Brooks has a um It's almost like a pecan. Mmm, is that what it is? Ezra Brooks is more of a pecan than a walnut. It's actually pretty good, but Jack Daniels is better. Okay, I'll take the loser. Okay, I'll pick the winner. Okay, we have the George Dickel. This is almost an automatic win for George Dickel. <laughs> it doesn't even... Like, we brought Rebel Yell to the party. Why? Yeah. Well, because it's bottom shelf. Like, it's the bottom of the bottom. If there was a lower shelf than the bottom, like a basement... It's oh. like this is in the cellar. Yeah. Let's start with this. Yeah, sure. Let's start with Rebel Yell. Now, and I know we don't have to justify anything here, but Rebel Yell also releases products that are single barrels and higher proofs and blah, 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 blah. Better, blah. better. And we haven't actually tried them. 
No. So we are basing our uh, kind of hacking Rebel Yell to based, based on, on re just regular bombs. Regular, yeah. Rebel Yell. All right, Rebel Yell. Am I drinking anything? I don't taste anything. Little, it tastes, has a little, a slight mold flavor to it. <laughs> For real. Taste that again. <laughs> the one flavor characteristic you get is mold. Well, it's like water with a bit of mold in it. You know, like a pond water. <laughs> I'll just put this on my side before we get started. But... For the sake of, of science, let's drink some dickle anyway. Yeah. Oh, God. Rebel Yell, what can't you do wrong? Mm. <laughs> That's a way to put it. One way to put it. Dickle versus Rebel Yell. We've already moved Rebel Yell into the loser's bracket, but here we go. Yeah, and it's also bottled a little bit higher percentage, so it's just got more flavor. Yeah, Dickle is bottled at 45%. It's a Tennessee whiskey, a Tennessee sour oh. mash whiskey. This is heads and tails above. Okay, winner. Moving on. Yeah. Okay. Jim Beam Black. What at one, this is the old style bottle because we've had it for a little while, but at one time it was called triple aged. Yeah. Is it still? No. So this has, it says aged six years on it mm -hmm. and the new bottle that they've released actually doesn't have any age statement on it at all. Ooh. And it's kind of, that's, that sucks. That's Interesting. Insane. But what's that say? Anyway, so we've got Evan Williams Black Label. I'm a big fan of the Evan Williams products and their walnutty flavors. Um, Evan Williams puts out some great low-priced bourbon options. Yeah, and, and it keeps I think, climbing up better yeah, and better. And I think that the Black Label is um, is right in line with that. It's a great low-priced option, yeah. but so is Jim Beam Black. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Jim first, eh? Yep. Okay. Just a little, just a little bit. Mm. Honestly, it has, it has tons of flavor. It's nice. No, it is nice. We're Jim Beam and Jack Daniels fans. Ooh. I know. Say it. Hopefully that doesn't, you know, diminish our credibility. We don't have so mainstream. Well, we just have, we, we do taste tons of, tons of whiskey on this show. And there are some, some that are just unbelievably good but when you come back to it jim beam and jack daniels they're consistent they're, they're, they're consistent that doesn't mean evan williams can't bump it off mm -hmm. i like the big long neck on the evan williams yeah, bottle it's, it's too cool. it's very cool um and evan williams also has their bottled and bond version i think it's the white label and it's and it is a solid and it's so buy. reasonably priced yeah okay evan williams is black Ooh, label. okay Hmm, 43%. You know what? And this is... And also this 43. Is 43. Oh, this is a good showdown. Yeah. 43%, 43%. This is actually has some pretty damn good flavor in there. I feel like I like this tonight. It, we should go with our gut in the moment, maybe. Let's go Evan Williams. I think that's a good idea. I agree. My idea. Okay, so we just chased that. Let's try some Jack Daniels. Old number seven. Uh... In our videos, we you can look up quite a few different Jack Daniels uh, tastings. We've done, done a few. Um, they they've got a lot of products. Oh yeah. Okay. Bananas and glue. Bananas and glue. You can't. I can't get enough of it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. Give me some. Oh yeah. I guess you want it. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. We get on fucking super poor. Doesn't taste like anything compared to Jack me. Daniels. Jack Daniels. This is one to your side. This moves on. <coughs> Jack Daniels in the final round. Okay, and then these two. Evan versus the old granddad. Okay, this is OGD. Mm -hmm. Old granddad. I quite like it. Actually, it's got that Cherry's Vix thing going on. Yeah, Old Granddad is good. It's better than I remember. Mm. Try some Evan Williams. I mean, I know we've we've tried it tonight, and I bet 
15 minutes ago, we were nowhere near as drunk as we are now. Oh, for sure. Yeah. We just drank 12. <laughs> Basically, oh. probably six ounces. Six ounces. <laughs> okay. Emma Williams is good, though. Oh. Mm. It is, too. That's tough. That is tough, actually. I don't know. God, what do you do? Right the cherries now? mix or the walnut? Sorry, it's good though. Bam! Evan Williams! What? <laughs> Evan, Evan Williams, Williams versus Jack, Jack Daniels. Daniels in the finals? Wow. A Tennessee versus a straight Kentucky bourbon. Let's go Jack first. Yeah. Alright. Uh oh, I'm hiccuping. We're gonna have to do some <laughs> serious editing to keep this under 15 minutes, but we'll uh, we'll do our best because Trinian C doesn't like to go beyond 15 minutes because otherwise it's you're just, just otherwise you're just the Scotch test dummies. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, dummies. <laughs> to the dummies. Huh? That is such a unique flavor compared to any other. You can pick Jack Daniels out of a crowd easily. You know? It's the one. It's the one whiskey that you can go like that. Jack Daniels every time. Yeah. Okay, that was really good. I guess finish it off with Evan Williams here. I don't know. I don't know. I like the bottle. I guess we can't judge it on the bottle, eh? I like the long neck for sure. Yeah. Jack Daniels, if you're listening, uh, you gotta come up with a longer neck here. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Mmm, that is good. Shit. What do you do? It is a little bit spicier and drier in the finish. I know everyone's going to be pissed off, but I think Jack Daniels is better. Yeah? It's so hard. I mean, honestly, from what we've done, I think the top three would be <clears throat> this, this, and Old Granddad. We're not doing a top three. Do you People want, you're right. No, You are right. People see, need to know. You are right. This is it. If you've never seen this label before, then it's I the don't know. the bottom shelf. I don't know where Bourbon Bonanza Blowout. Winner! Okay, whatever we, or whatever we called this video. Round of applause for Jack Daniels. Thank you for coming to the party, Jack. We'll edit in some applause or some shit. Yeah. Okay, thanks, cheers. <laughs>